Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about why fasting attracts God and the wrong way to fast. Fasting is a practice that has been around for centuries, and it's often associated with religious and spiritual practices. But have you ever wondered why fasting is so important? In this video, we'll explore the reasons why fasting is believed to attract God, as well as the wrong way to fast that can actually hinder your spiritual journey. 1. Fasting is a form of sacrifice. Fasting is often seen as a form of sacrifice, where you give up something you enjoy for a period of time. This sacrifice is believed to show your devotion and commitment to God, and it's a way of demonstrating your willingness to put God first in your life. In Matthew chapter 6, verses 16 to 18, Jesus says, When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your Father, who is unseen, and your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. 2. Fasting is a way to purify the body and mind. Fasting is also believed to have physical and mental benefits. When you fast, your body goes into a state of detoxification, where it eliminates toxins and other harmful substances. This can help to purify your body and improve your overall health. Fasting is also believed to have mental benefits, as it can help to clear your mind and improve your focus and concentration. In Isaiah chapter 58, verses 6 and 7, it says, Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen, to loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter? When you see the naked, to clothe them and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood. 3. Fasting is a way to increase spiritual awareness. Fasting is often used as a way to increase spiritual awareness and connect with God on a deeper level. When you fast, you're able to focus more on your spiritual journey and less on the distractions of everyday life. This can help you to become more aware of your thoughts and feelings, and it can help you to develop a deeper sense of spirituality. In Joel chapter 2, verses 12 and 13, it says, Even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love, and he relents from sending calamity. 4. The Wrong Way to Fast While fasting can be a powerful tool for spiritual growth, there is also a wrong way to fast that can actually hinder your spiritual journey. Fasting should never be done for show or to impress others. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 1 to 4, Jesus says, Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, to be honored by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. 5. Fasting is a way to seek guidance from God. Fasting is also believed to be a way to seek guidance from God. When you fast, you're able to quiet your mind and focus on your spiritual journey, which can help you to hear God's voice more clearly. In Ezra chapter 8 verses 21 to 23, it says, There, by the Ahava Canal, I proclaimed a fast, so that we might humble ourselves before our God and ask Him for a safe journey for us and our children with all our possessions. I was ashamed to ask the king for soldiers and horsemen to protect us from enemies on the road because we had told the king, The gracious hand of our God is on everyone who looks to him, but his great anger is against all who forsake him. So we fasted and petitioned our God about this, and he answered our prayer. 6. Fasting is a way to overcome temptation. Fasting is also believed to be a way to overcome temptation and strengthen your willpower. When you fast, you're able to resist the temptation to indulge in food or other pleasures, which can help you to develop greater self-control. In Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 and 2, it says, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting forty days and forty nights, he was hungry. 7. Fasting is a way to express repentance. Fasting is also used as a way to express repentance and seek forgiveness from God. When you fast, you're able to show God that you're truly sorry for your sins and that you're committed to turning your life around. You in Jonah chapter 3 verses 5 to 10, it says, The Ninevites believed God. A fast was proclaimed, and all of them, from the greatest to the least, put on sackcloth. When Jonah's warning reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, took off his royal robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat down in the dust. This is the proclamation he issued in Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, Do not let people or animals, herds or flocks, taste anything, do not let them eat or drink, but let people and animals be covered with sackcloth. Let everyone call urgently on God. 8. Fasting is a way to show solidarity with others. Fasting can also be used as a way to show solidarity with others who are suffering or in need. 
When you fast, you're able to empathize with those who are hungry or struggling, and you can use your experience to raise awareness and support for their cause. In Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6 and 7, it says, Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen? To loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke. Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter when you see the naked, to clothe them, and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood? 9. Fasting is a way to express gratitude. Fasting can also be used as a way to express gratitude to God for His blessings and provisions. When you fast, you're able to reflect on all the good things in your life and give thanks to God for His faithfulness. In Psalm chapter 107 verses 8 and 9, it says, Let them give thanks to the Lord for His unfailing love and His wonderful deeds for mankind, for He satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. 10. Fasting is a way to prepare for spiritual battles. Fasting can also be used as a way to prepare for spiritual battles and strengthen your faith. When you fast, you're able to focus on your spiritual journey and prepare yourself for the challenges that lie ahead. In Mark chapter 9 verse 29, Jesus says, This kind can come out only by prayer and fasting. This refers to a demon that the disciples were unable to cast out, and Jesus tells them that they need to fast and pray in order to have the strength and faith to overcome it. So there you have it, the reasons why fasting is believed to attract God and the wrong way to fast that can actually hinder your spiritual journey. Fasting is a powerful practice that can benefit your physical, mental, and spiritual health, but it should always be done with the right intentions and in a way that honors God. Remember, fasting is not about impressing others or showing off, but about deepening your relationship with God and growing in your faith.